All right, so we're going to start the show. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Break Street. We are our first yeah. edition ever in the history of the universe with my friends and brothers, West Coast Rockers. Everyone give a round of applause. Yeah, yeah. We're here, we're here. Yeah. All right, so first of all, my name is Friction. This is Battle Break Street Re Recaps. Uh, make sure you follow us on all our platforms. Follow us on YouTube. You can check this out. This is the first battle review of 2022 until forever of the breaking battles, which there was over, there's over about six events, but we're only going to recap about six. So welcome West Coast Rockers. Welcome guys. Thanks for jumping on. No, no. All right, so we'll show a little, uh, while, 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 uh, you guys are, while you guys are just chilling, getting to know us, check this out. All right, so we'll go one by one. Jedic, we'll start with you. I'm going to play a little montage on the side and just introduce yeah. yourself, let the people know who you are. Yeah, what and, up? Uh, this is D.Y. Energetic, you know what I'm saying, representing 2022, been breaking since 1993, got down with the West Coast Rockers in 1995, got my B-Boy name in 1996 from Prince Ken Swift after B-Boy Summit 3 up at the train station up in my hometown in Fullerton. You know, I got my YouTube channel going on right now under B-Boy Energetic, Instagram, Facebook. Check me out. Just representing here, keeping hip-hop alive and well. Word up. All right, Mr. Mr. Cyber Yoga. We know him as Lamont. Uh, yeah. But he goes by Cyber Yoga, so introduce the world to yourself. What's up, everyone? I'm Lamont, uh, formerly B-Boy Tales. Now I go by Cyber Yoga. That's my brand. I've been breaking since 96 uh, and down with my, my brother's crew, West Coast Rockers. They've been dancing for a minute, breaking, and I'm here to have fun with y'all and judge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. So we're we're judging. So this is Mr. Energetic. So guys, this is footage from us. Oh yeah. Back in the day. And what's great about breaking is we can still do most of this stuff. Oh, yeah. Well. Little monkeys right there. We got cyber yoga. What jam was this? Uh I think was this was the one in um, Mass Appeal, dude, in San Diego. Uh, this one about a little rock in the oh, garage. Oh, yeah. Okay. You, Caveman, Manson, a little rock one. Tell yeah. Us. Yeah, look at that. Freeze. Bing, bing. Yeah, hey, uh, technical difficult. That's why, hey, guys, if you all have VCRs, we've all done it. But if you're watching this and you have a VCR, go digitize the video because the videos are going to be uh, blurry. Blurry. Or they're going to actually, they're going to like, just like the Europe. Egyptian artifacts are going to turn into dust. Yeah. So, all right. So, guys, we're going to get straight into the first battle. Ladies, first, we kind of tested it out to see this, but we're going to do it for y'all for this live recap. So, here we go, guys. We're going Power Flow versus Lady Breeze at the Red Bull BC1 Northwest Cypher. That's what it was. Here we go. Let's go. All right. That's her, you know. Is Lily Freeze the one from LA again? Yeah, Lily's from LA. So this is Power Flow. So her her, her name is pretty good, Power Flow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, she needs to flow smoother and faster, but she's already got some dope stuff. Ooh. There's a lot of nice tricks. Yeah. I like the color. I like the black and yellow. She got right. cool ideas. Yeah. It's the execution, uh, it's it's clean, yeah. It just needs more like pizzazz, you know. Yeah, it, it needs more explosion, a little, a little bit more energy behind it. Okay. So people put the moves, sort of smile. We got some good ups. Uh, this girl has flavor. She's looking at her, she's like, What? Yeah. In a, battle, you, in a battle, you definitely have to face your opponent. Yeah, because then it's, you know, kind of, it, it, you got to have a really crazy style to not face your opponent and still burn it. Yeah. It's like shooting the gun away from him. Yeah, I'm going to hit beats and kind of really show her dancing. This girl's all power, but it's just, they're both good. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a style versus power type of, or style versus mm -hmm. tricks. Powerful has a lot of good power, but she needs to, again, she needs to dance into it. Remember, it's a dance. It's, it's break dancing, you know? 
You gotta dance. Yeah, yeah. She keeps going. She's gonna kill it. Wow, look at that. Uh, super clean women. I mean, Superman's. Wow. Definitely power. That's for sure. She's really whoever, whoever she learned from or, or learned with, she, you know, taught her really. Because she, she definitely went one round. That's why she's probably kind of. Because she's from, she from uh, the west of the, probably be Oregon or maybe Canada or basically up there. So pretty good power for, for North Americans. Yeah, she's really so. good. She, she um, I see her getting way better over time. Maybe she's still uh, developing. Yeah. And this is, for everyone watching, this is the final. So these girls had a battle at least four to five other times on top of this battle. Mm-hmm. Uh, Friction, what's this B girl's name again right here? Uh she is Lily Breeze. Lily Breeze. So it's Lily Breeze against Power Flow. Power Flow, yeah, okay. Really cool. She has a U crossed out an E me. U E me. Maybe probably a school shirt or something. Yeah, this girl's gonna follow her. All his rounds off the power, but you can tell. Yeah. She, oh, oh, that's that hard. Was, that was nice. That shadow, but the foundation. Do more foundation. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, so, like, it's a point where she's really trying to do her moves versus just doing them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, yeah. It. it oh, looks like practicing. No, she finally had a good little ending right there. Yeah, she's gonna watch this footage and be like, "That's what's great about breaking. You can review your footage and get better." Yeah. I mean, they're both amazing dancers. You know, yeah, you know they're still uh, developing, but got her, cut her, got her, throw on the ground, put some salt on her, mix her up. Oh, they make it look easy. It's just, you know, wow. it's knowing how how you're doing it and what you're doing. It's like hitting deep. This girl's hitting deep, doing foundation, it has flavor. The other one is lacking all that a little bit, not too much. Right. She's up in her face. Yeah, I mean, she's more battle tactic. Yeah. That was a good battle, though. You know? Really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah really good. We'll go, down, we'll go really? down the line. We'll start with you, Mr. Cyber Yoga. I really like to see the 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 big girls are actually progressing a lot. Um, I'm actually like enjoying watching big girl battles now because they're stepping their game up. Yeah, they're getting. <laughs> we'll watch another battle. This six seven one versus a girl named India. Mm-hmm. It was it was in uh, Europe a couple weeks ago? Mm-hmm. Anyways, yeah, but go on. So, what do you think about the battle? I'll let Jada go first. Jada, go ahead. Uh, honestly, to be real, I just thought, what is it? Um, Power Flow. Is that her name? Power Flow? Yes, yeah, Power Flow. Power Flow. She did her thing. Um, I just felt like she was just lacking a little bit of foundation and just, I'll just say execution. You know, she had really dope power. She came with it. You could tell she really did her best. But um, the girl on the, uh, the other one with the black hair, what was her name again? Lily Breeze. Lily Breeze. I want to make sure I remember that. Lily Breeze, she just came with it a little bit more as far as just, you know, foundation wow. all around and just being just all up in the girl's face and making it look more like, you know, she wanted a battle and I just put it down. But yeah, Lily Breeze, I think definitely, you know, took that battle in my eyes. And I feel like she did a little bit more as far as just the battle aspect of it, which is to be all around. And also, yeah, she just had a little bit more flavor and foundation and she really didn't have much power, but you could tell she really just put her all into it and made it more look like she just took over the battle. Right, she was in her face, all up in her face. Yeah, she was. Just, she did her thing. So, yeah, Lily uh, Breeze. That's, great, that's a great opinion. Yeah, I feel the same way uh, where the the power flow was super dope. Just, it just needs to be like, you're not trying, you're doing. And oh, yeah. at, at, she, she's young, so she's gonna get better and better mm-hmm. and later to the final. But aside from that, yeah, I would I would say as far as like style, and it begs the question like what's more power versus style? I saw a a, a podcast of some uh, or it was a YouTube channel, pretty pretty well uh, subscribed YouTuber is a b boy in Italy, and like you know a newer guy, and like he he was recapping a battle and he was opinioning about how like you know he doesn't feel the burn is something that is uh, equal to like a crazier move. And it was an interesting opinion because people feel like that. Some people think the burn is, you know, wins the battle. Some people think the move wins the battle. We all know that it's a combination. Yeah, it's interesting what people think, you know. So there's one of those battles like style versus power. But Lamont, what's your what's your opinion on it? 
Yeah, so I want to just uh, piggyback on your thing about the the topic about style versus power. I've always been a fan of style, uh, and I do power. So of course, like we grew up in the era of like Easy Rock and Asia, so we had a a, a complete like package of power foundation, you. physicality, everything. Um, but I go with uh, you, a strong style can always be power, uh, in my opinion. And so I think in this case, uh, Powerflow had a lot of great uh, tricks and acrobatics, but she wasn't the full package. Like she wasn't dancing, she wasn't facing the opponent. And it looks like she wasn't having fun as opposed to Lily. Um, she had more foundation, more musicality, um, and more of a battle aspect behind the whole event. So both amazing um, dancers and performers, but I give it to Lily for sure. She had so the you give it to Lily, who would you give it to, Jedic? Lily Breeze definitely, she did her yeah. thing a little bit more. She came with it with a little bit more extra bit of energy. You could just tell she put her all into it and just kept going until the you know the gas chamber ran out. So she pretty much she did her thing a little bit more than the other one, and that's just how it goes. You know, Lily Breeze. Oh, look at that! Look who won though. I didn't. What? Look at, look at this. Look wait, at wait, this. wait, 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 wait. Who are the judges? Look, who, look who won. Oh, yeah, look. Wait oh, a minute. Wait God. a minute. Let's like talk about it. No, we're not going to talk about it. Right no, now, no, honestly, yeah, you got to really you know, you know, with judges. You can't always, you know, trip about the judging because some people like power more than, you know, foundation. Yeah, we're there. And After you in the battle, West Coast Rockers. Oh, yeah. Lily Even Ray. Lily was tripping. Like, when you saw her reaction. Oh, yeah. Like I felt it could have been like a time. I'm just wondering who were, who was judging though. I'm just wondering. It was uh the Anna Banana. Okay. Anna Banana. Uh -huh. Um and then uh Free. I don't know who else. But yeah, I mean it. That's what happened. like this. Some people, you know, they go more for like the stronger power move combos than the cleanliness, the foundation originality. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, they must she must have had the crowd more. To be who honest, the, who were the judges? It was free. Oh, Rocks Right. Look at that. Rocks Right and a banana and free. Okay. Well, I'll That's say that. You know, uh, maybe hey, I wouldn't. I'm, uh, uh, she was well, getting the crowd a little bit more than the other. We have no affiliation because we're going to have our own companies, but a lot of Red Bull stuff might be rigged. I don't know. I'm just yeah. saying that. Yeah. I mean, if we all felt the, uh, if we all felt the uh, decision was like unanimous, then it's obvious that it was like really strange that she won. Because she wasn't really executing versus well, what it was, she, wasn't, she wasn't hitting the her like her rounds as clean as the other one. I think yeah. that was basing it more whoever was judging was basing it more on how the crowd was reacting. To be exactly. You know, so they, weren't, they weren't looking at like the cleanliness, the technicality, the foundation. They're probably that's kind of how the Olympics are gonna be, where they're gonna be basing it more off the crowd and like and their energy in the crowd. No, they have they have they have a pretty they have a pretty sophisticated system to to do. It I'm with. no, I'm sure, but what I'm saying is, is it, it might would be what might happen as far as the Olympics because people are more into power. You know, what I'm saying? yeah, yeah. It would be, yeah. like yeah. the people are going bananas for like the career, like you know, some that's crazy right. power tricks, yeah. and then now the they're not getting. That's why it's going to the Olympics though, because to be real with you, it kind of died out in the Hollywood industry again, and it's getting yeah. rebirth. In the Olympics, but we yeah, were the it's 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 views, bro. Like I'm I'm looking at the views, dude, and uh like dancing is getting lots and lots and lots, lots of views, dude. Lots. Yeah, so yes. like, I'm, yeah. I'm thinking we can we can talk about it offline, but I'm telling you, more people are watching dancing than most sports combined. It's, it's true. Just, it, it's just there's not like a a direct place you know so anyways but yeah we can get into it but i believe i i feel it like it's with the olympics olympics is gonna put a lot of heat and a lot of eyeballs on it so there's it could go a billion ways but we just want to be ready to do what we want to do yeah right now we're just kind of like basing it off of what we see before we even see the the end yeah. judging all i know is it's gonna be cracking okay let's go to the next one guys next battle, so we got look at this up nasty ray in the slides <laughs> versus Conrad from Arizona. What is it, Nasty Ray in those sandals? He loves the sandals. Hey, that's style, bro. That's, style, baby. Yeah, that's like his. He's he's trying to start a new trend. <laughs> he's just having like, a good time, dude. He's yeah, gonna, I, I like Nasty Ray a lot. It's gonna be called slipping. Does, does, but does the crazy outfit take away from the break? I, I think 
honestly, uh, in my opinion, like a person should wear like whatever they want, but I feel you should always dress and look dope. But but that's my opinion. Hey, but somebody might think that it looks dope, you know, sunglasses and sunglasses and sandals. I think he's really just this kid looks fresh. Look at he's fresh, got the fresh kicks on, all black outfit. Yeah. Is he from Arizona? Conrad, yeah, yeah. He's he's the he practices with Mace and the Yeah, I've battled him before in uh Austin. Really good, really good, really good B-boy. Yeah, he's a good, he's a good he's got Is there a sound this? Uh, what was that? I can't hear any sound at all on the video. Oh yeah, let me put the sound on. Sorry guys. Sorry guys, we can't play too big a sound because YouTube will uh yeah, it looks like Nasty right. Ray cashed his round right now. Yeah, I think yeah, that's all good. These are all original beats. Oh, sorry. Yeah, all right. Well, sorry, guys. Technical difficulties, but hey, it's not that bad. Uh, this guy has good footwork, and he looks like he's more serious. Nasty Ray's kind of just having fun playing around. Yeah, it's a, it's another it's another. What's what's more, like what gives more points? You know, the creativity, the fun, or like just the mood. Well, you can tell Nasty Ray he's just kind of be himself and like. Just, He's having a blast. Just be a little crazy, you know, close to character. Yeah, that's his style. You know? His style is like having fun, not sure lot. And like, think about it. If he had shoes, he'd just murder you. If he's doing that good in sandals. It's kind yeah. of legit. He's a dope b-boy, but yeah, you know, he's, uh, you can tell he's definitely a character. Yeah, he's a character. Yeah, who well, else? Nice. This is clean. Yeah. This dude, he's got a lot of foundation. You can tell he really put his all in his rounds. I feel like I like Nasty Ray's style a little bit more because he's more loose and he's just being himself and having fun. Uh, but this guy in the black, he's 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 really about the battle. He's te he's technically doing much better moves. So, oh, last closet. Time. So, boom! All right, guys, we'll go down. We'll start with you, uh, Lamont. Is that okay? What's yeah. Your opinion on the battle. So I would say uh, Nasty Ray has always been, a, you know, he's always done his thing and he doesn't really care about, you know, what people think about him and he's having fun. So that I do like appreciate. But at the same time, when it's a battle, I think you got to take it like a little bit more seriously and like be hungry versus just being like nonchalant and chilling. Um, the other guy is more more about the battle. It doesn't really have a very uh, unique style. So I give it to Nasty Ray, just, you know, just, just in the fact that he's dope um, and he's having fun and he's doing his thing. That's that's where I go. Hey, Jack, what you, what you think? Okay, so the the B-boy that Nasty Ray battled, what was his name? Conrad. 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 He just, you could tell he put his all in his rounds. He went out there, didn't care about, you know, pleasing the crowd too much. He just came out a little bit cleaner, a little bit stronger. Nasty Ray, he killed it. He did his thing, but you could do, you could tell he slipped up a little bit with his slippers on, and he kind of wasn't doing his yeah, thing. Yeah, slipper, slipper. You could tell, yeah, you know, slip knot. You know what I'm saying? Like, he pretty much, he killed it, you know, with the slippers on, but the guy that had his shoes and had his own, you know, everything ready to go as far as the battle just came through a little bit cleaner and a little stronger. So mm -hmm. I'm going to say Conrad, man, he took that battle just because nasty Ray, I've seen him do better. You know, that's yeah. all. Good point, Jake. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm crewmates with nasty Ray with beat writer. So he's my boy and he was just having fun, obviously. So, you know, but these reviews are, that's why these reviews are important. So we can give a little bit of perspective because look at the, it's just a crazy difference in style, you know, like, yeah. Yeah. Like, so, but Conrad really came to win that type of competition. Yeah. Uh, Nasty Ray came to just have a good time. So it's super subjective. But if I was a judge, which disclaimer, I'm a terrible judge. Uh, don't get me to judge battles, but I will give it to Conrad. So let's watch what happened. Good, guys. Uh, let me bring it back. Boom. See how I can just bring it back, guys? Yeah, it's amazing. That's super cool. Dude. See who wins. All right, boom. So let's give it up. Let's do this one. Last time. So we got two for Conrad, one for Ray. Who wins? Conrad. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. See that that's why I said like you gotta take it seriously. Um right. but, uh, but I feel like Nasty Ray is just being himself and he could he could have you know ripped it. But. All right, so this battle is uh deep fried 
Tiff versus Emma. This was in Canada mm. this past weekend. So shout out to the B girls. Two B girls. Yeah, really hungry now. Yeah. yeah, there's a, there's actually more jams. It's just these are the ones I saw. There's probably a bunch of little local jams. Anyways, let's watch this girl. I have no idea who this is though. Let's see if the host tells us. Got a lot of pop rocks already in foundation with the label. Yeah, it's either Emma or Deep Fried Tip. Which one is Deep Fried Tip? Is it Deep Fried? I don't know. We're gonna we'll find out. This girl's coming off really aggressive though. She wants it. She got dope moves. Yeah. She's definitely hungry. Okay, West Coast. Yeah, got a lot of foundation. Yeah, yeah she's hungry, bro. Her and uh, her, 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 her rounds are really long, so she's really about it. I should have hit a freeze at the end, but yeah, it's all good. Get a good round, really long. Yeah, you gotta end with the freeze, guys. You gotta end with the freeze. You gotta end that statement with the period. You have to end it strong. Ooh, oh, nice, nice. The yeah, crazy bridges. Oh, wow. She's dope. Blew her up. She's like all around her here, too. I didn't see any power from the other girl, but this one is really good. She's got a good flow, good power, good strength. Very nice flow. Wow. And got in her face like, yeah. what? Yeah. yeah. She's she's strong around. Around. She's a little beanie. And again, this is a final battle. So both these girls went through a... a like two or three battles before this, yeah. Uh, to get here, okay. So that's Emma. Emma, okay. Here you go, Emma. I think they're dope. Uh, they're they're both really good, but I think the other. Girl, oh, look at that, that worm! She whipped it under. <laughs> the other girl has this more more dynamics, more of a package. Yeah, you can't. Emma has, has a lot of foundation. Yeah, Emma's good. Emma's good, but this deep fried tip is coming at her. Yeah. Yeah, deep fried. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That was nice. Yeah, she's deep fried. Actually, you can tell she's all around. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice freeze. She knows how to end it. Like, yeah, she knows how to stick her freezes. Yeah, and faced her too. She executes. Yeah, she executes really well. Yeah, deep fried for me already. That's probably like yeah, two rounds already. Yeah, we'll give it to, I'll give it to Deep Fried. If I was judging this battle. I mean Emma, so she's definitely Emma's some, nasty. Emma some, has heart. She has a lot of heart. Oh, whoa, yeah. whoa, jackhammers? Okay. Some power right there. There's some power. Yeah, and See? all these all these all these all these competitors right now, dude, they're just barely starting, dude. We're just seeing them. Like they're gonna be super nasty if they keep going. Oh yeah, especially by the Olympics. Yeah. You don't you don't get to, and we we kind of know. We we don't we don't go to um, final battles and win and just quit the next week, you know. Oh yeah, you know, deep the final battle, You're gonna practice and you're gonna just get better. Yeah, you can tell deep prize a little bit more all around. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Ooh, yeah, look at that. She's a little bit more battle ready. She's more battle ready, and she knows how to battle as well. Yeah, I don't know. We'll find out what crew she's in and stuff later, but she's dope. Props to both girls. B girls. And their girls. rounds are super long. Like they don't they don't have short rounds. Yeah, yeah. She definitely yeah, she executed pretty good, I think. I was like two one. I think go ahead, say what you want. No, 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 go on, Jay. Go no, ahead. I'm just saying I thought it was I thought it was two one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, we'll, we'll go ahead and whoever wants to start it off. Who you want who you want to, to talk about as far as you think of one friction? Well, this one, let's just run through it because we don't want to spend too. Because we got four other battles to watch. But I would give it to Deep Fried Tip. She had more, like, you know, just smooth. She was being herself, strong, powerful, just, like, walked into her style versus this, like, example, like the other girl, Power Flow. Like, she was trying, trying uh, versus. But if the girl, like, Power Flow had a, had a flow, like, Deep Fried and just did her moves, be really, really dope. But I'll give it to Deep Fried. What do you think, Lamar? Yeah, I give it to Deep Fried. She has just more intensity, have more of a package, stronger, and in her freeze is really strong. Um, she's definitely uh, seasoned, you know, that you can tell that, you know, she's been battling. Uh, the other girl, she's she's on the come up right now. She's really good, but she's still uh, developing the battle strategy. So I give it to Deep Fried. Okay, perfect. So let's see who won, guys. Deep Fried, yeah. I'd say Deep Fried. Yeah. 
And they were using the Cozen system, I think, here. Who won that one? That's it. I think it was. Let me go back. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I did. Sorry, guys. This technical difficulties, but, you know, we're doing the best we can. So the winner showed us. Yeah. Yeah, deep fried. Yeah, yeah, yeah deep fried. Deep fried. I mean deep fried. Let's just say deep fried. We'll find no, out no. here. No, they said deep. They said deep fried. I heard it. Yeah. So this is Mad Track versus Ill. This is the B Boy final. So Mad Track's right here in the in the suit. Ills is the other guy with the glasses. Ills is from uh, Canada, right? Yeah, Toronto. This is yeah. Canadian, eh? Yeah. Oh yeah. So it's Mad probably uh, Vancouver and this at West Coast. Nice, nice, nice. He's really using his outfit to. Reminds me of Bruce Almighty. Mm -hmm. Bruce Almighty. It's like a subtle style with hard moves. Yeah, he really like, uses uh, his Ill, outfit. Ill. Look at his flow. He just like. Yeah, Ills, He's definitely got a little bit more flavor, and like you can tell, he puts a lot of strength into his power, and his foundation just a little bit more like on point. Yeah, he's got that funky style, but he's doing a lot of intricate stuff that if it's not a good camera angle, you kind of yeah. miss a lot of it. It's so true. He's doing stuff it's towards true. the judges to, to show the judges what he's doing, but then we can't see it. We got the angle. Exactly. Good point, Robert. You got to see certain moves from different perspectives to like understand the uh, complexity. Yeah, yeah. And that's what, you know, some people don't understand. There's multiple angles when you see a battle. So you might I mean, not see I mean, That's something. why power works so well. Exactly. That's right. That's very true. Because power is more open versus style is like, you know, like a thread. Uh, he just, he just crashed. Yeah, he just crashed. He crashed. He's doing dope moves. He's got a cool little outfit, little b-boy outfit. Yeah. He's double what he does. He could just tell he's slipping up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And it's this outfit. Like, when you're breaking, your outfit should be, like, tight and not so slippery so that way you're not falling all over the place, you know? You have to have, like, control of your moves. I know, yeah, well, at, you know, at the end of the day, there's no rules either, you know? Look at Little Ray or Nasty Ray. Yeah. Your sandals, like, as long as you, I think the cardinal rules, you got to look fresh in whatever you're rocking. Yeah. Well, your outfit should, like, enhance what you're doing. So yeah, yeah, like a superhero so outfit. It can hinder you. It's like your cape. Yeah. It was just us long around. Yeah, it was just really seasoned. He's really clean. You can tell he knows what he's doing. He's been there. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Oh. That was cool. Oh. That was, uh, that was probably melting into it. That's cool, but yeah. It reminds me of Minnow a little bit. It's like a Minnow style. Yeah, you can tell he's going for it. Yeah, he just needs to not crash too much. Yeah. He definitely he's knows. Yeah. It was just a little bit cleaner. Yeah. That's a cool little venue, though, right? Outdoor battle. On yeah. Stage. Oh, yeah. Ailes is way technical. You know what it does? Ills crashes to create, as you can tell. He's like, the turn of crash into a move. Mm hmm Other guys just feel, yeah, kind of slip up. I'm just excited I can press all these buttons. Yeah, Ills uh, already took it. Nope. Oh, now the guy took off his jacket after. Uh <laughs> <laughs> you should have kept it on the whole time. You would have been hitting your moves. But he has a dope stuff. So, all right, so let's go down. Let's let's do the recap, Mister Energetic. What are your thoughts on that battle? Who do you think won? Uh, I thought Ills took it. To be honest, you know, the other guy he came with it, but Ills just was just yeah, he was a little bit cleaner. He had more foundation, originality, and he did have a little bit of power in there. The other guy just kind of had not as much foundation. It was crashing a little bit, but yeah, Ills took it. I think. What Ills? Okay. Lamont, what do you what do you think? Yeah, I agree with Energetic. Uh, I feel like Ills has more uh, technicality. He's clean. He's polished. He didn't crash. Uh, the other guy, he's still kind of like developing his style. And I feel like his outfit 
works for and against him because therefore you like you can't really like uh, understand the execution of his moves so it looks like he's slipping and sliding and crashing versus doing a certain style that maybe that's his style but from what I can see uh, he's not hitting his moves and he's not focused on the battle so that's my opinion so I give right, it to right. like he's like freestyling but then battling and being exactly also. So I give it to Ills all the way Ills is dope right. let's, let's check it out guys let's see who won and the of course, it was, it was ill. Yeah, it was ill. He was from uh, what? Where's he from? Is he from um? I don't know what crew. His crew is like a super crew out in that area. It's like the best. I'm not sure if he's in Supernaturals. Something like that. Okay, let's go. But uh, anyways, let's keep on going. So this is Babalu versus this is the kids battle this is the finals of the kids battles at freestyle session this weekend so babaloo versus miles freestyle session was this weekend yeah in, in frisco what yeah it was, it was a presented by jack in the box shout out to cross let me give him a let me give him a post right here shout out to cross this is the kids battle is this babaloo i believe Miles or Babalu, one of the two. Oh, this is Babalu. I think I heard Babalu. Yeah, this is the kids final, so they're both dope. Hey, this is Babalu. Oh, already. Kids have the kids in their power, their foundation. This kid is ill. He's got some dope power. He's just a little sloppy. Yeah, a little sloppy Joe. Uh, sloppy Lou. But hey, he's a kid, you know? Hey, he's a kid. He's still developing, of course. Oh, yeah. We're saying, like, all these guys are just going to get better and better and better. Yeah, this is just the start of this whole great life. But, you know, I, I like, I want to see a kid that has his own unique style. And I feel like a lot of these kids are very general, very basic very basic they have all the foundation all the basics but they're they don't have their own unique style like energetic or friction or myself or little rock or whoever they don't have their own um identity yet but they have everything yeah it depends and i th really think it's who, who teaches them so i think like philosophy of the dance is good to teach people to teach them that they should uh, learn their own style like that's the point like learn your own style but some people are being learned like studio style like karate so they're learning the same forms very true and depending on who their teacher is they're going to kind of like learn whatever so very general good. it's best to teach someone how to teach themselves yeah teach them how yeah good exactly give them the tools and let them play and create yeah and then they figure it out and then they just keep going but the kids are oh look at this kid he got flavor yeah yeah, these kids are dope. I think oh, just sick. one of them is doing more power than the other. And it's funny too. Yeah. I'd be seeing these kids. Some kids be doing, you know, some of my power tricks that I made up and I'm just like, it's all good, do it. You know, yeah. I'm not gonna battle it. But you know, a lot a, a lot of these times the moves have been like reused so many times. Somebody will not know like somebody bit your move from the early two thousands. They did it in a battle and then another person bit that and then another person bit that. It's like the fifth person is doing it now. They don't realize how many people bid it before. You know what it is? Is people nowadays these kids recycle moves and try to like you know act yeah. like it hasn't been done. But a lot of the time, yeah, it depends on if it's a signature move or not. You know? Yeah, I've seen your yeah. atomic yeah. roll crazy, Jedek. Oh right. yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to flip that move, but yeah, these kids right here, you can tell, man, they're they're dope. Like this guy right here, his footwork, his flavor, his power. He's a little bit more all around. The other kid is just doing a lot of power. Yeah, the awesome. kid in the green is a little bit holding it down more. <laughs> Yeah, this kid right here, he's not doing a long enough round. But let's see how long his round is. Right yeah, but he's got that energy and that flavor, you know? Yeah, oh, yeah, he's hungry. Yeah, you, you could tell he's really Ooh! Hungry. That was nice. That's hard. That's a good round. rewind and I can pause stuff, but since we got to go through some other battles, we won't, but that was sick. I yeah, think you should have your, like, if your beanie is falling off, like, it, it kind of, like, distracts you from the battles. So that, that was a good round right there. Actually, that was probably his best round, I think. Yeah, that was his best one. It's like 2 1 right now. Yeah, it's 2 1. Okay. It's All right. Cool. Boom. So we'll go over it real quick. Um, what are your thoughts? Whoever wants to go first? 
I'll honestly, go. I'm not jealous. Yeah, I just feel honestly, with the kids these days, they're very general and very basic, and they're running basic moves, but they don't have their own identity because we come from the generation where you knew exactly just by someone's shadow who it was by their dancing. So um, I like to see more of like a real um, individual style, like, oh, wow, that's so-and-so, like, really. And so kids are dope, but they're running a lot of very uh, general basic moves. So you can't really tell, like, if that's their style or not. But I gave it up to the kid in the green, Babalu, because he was more sharp or had more. The one in the green was Lion. Lion? Yeah, Lion. 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 Yeah, Lion. Yeah. 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 Give it to Lion. And the other kid, he's still uh, developing, but he was a little bit sloppy. He had one good round. And but I give it to the kid in the green, Lion. All right, yeah, I, I'll give it. To, I would. I would give it to. Uh, I was watching it and not watching it at the same time, so I was pressing buttons. But I will give it to Babalu because I like how he came out a little bit more. Uh, and then I actually like this is a bias too that happens. We could talk about this another time. I saw some other sets of his from that same battle where he blew it up, so that could be kind of like a bias of you know what you've seen before. Some people will judge them on what they know they can do versus what they can do. Or what they did, but I would give it to Babalu if I was judging. Jake, what do you think? I think Babalu did his thing. Uh, you know, I'll be real with you. I don't know what the outcome was as far as you know who won, but I will say, as far as my opinion, I think that Line definitely he just was his rounds were longer and he did a little bit more than Babalu. So yeah, I would say Line. Line. Okay, so let's check it out. Let's see who won. So I got Babalu. You guys got Line. Hey, and there's. There's Mr. Little Rock. Babalu took it. Okay. I get, who's judging him, man? I was, he didn't do enough. His yeah. first two yeah. rounds, I'm not going to lie, bro. His first two rounds, he kind of crashed a little bit. And yeah. I don't know. Maybe whoever was judging, maybe they like power more because he did a lot more power than the foundation. But, yeah, but I'm kind of tripping. I'm, I'm like, what? Who was like, judging, though? Who was judging? I'm just wondering. I don't know on the kids, but I think it, it might have been – uh, it might have been the same people, Ness, Nagin, and Little Rock. Oh, okay. I'm not sure though. Never been, and I think what happened was, to be real, Babalu probably was just pleasing the crowd more. They, they were probably going off. Right yeah, he's a little kid. Too. Well, yeah. I'm telling you, a couple other rounds he blew it up, like before this battle, like the the battle before he blew yeah. it up. So I don't know. Yeah. Like, you know that's, that's one thing. Go on. Yeah, but here's a point though. Just because you blew it up. In the other rounds, it doesn't matter. Like, you have to blow it up in the current battle. Like, you can't. Yeah, no, totally. That's something to talk about. Like, mm -hmm. is it is it the past rounds or like you know like we've been through we've been in the game so long that some judges will let a person go through a prelim or a battle because they know they can do better. No, Versus, no, bro. That's, like that's, it's got to be like what you know. I think we can all agree it's what happened that point right then and there. Doesn't matter what you can do. Yeah, what you can do. of course, bro. You know, like. That. No, you have to win that battle. Like, you have to win every battle, okay? I, yeah, like, yeah. blow it up the last one, but you have to blow it up in every round to win. What I think is sometimes you can have a little bit of bias, you know what I mean, with judges. Like, if they know that person really well and they want them to win, they're going to go for them, to be honest with you. I don't care what these judges think or say. And I'm going to be straight up. Babalu just wasn't as clean as the other guy. You know, his round, yeah. rounds weren't as long. And yeah. I'm gonna be real with you, man. A lot of those, I think all three of those judges know Bible Lou. You know what I'm saying? So, isn't isn't he like what's his name's uh, Zulu Gremlin's son or something? I don't know. Maybe I have no idea. I, don't know. I remember. But yeah, like that. We we had a we had a talk on Smurfs podcast, and the question was if uh, you know, like if a judge is um, in the crew of the person he's judging, should he judge? And yeah, it's, I think at this point in time, if the judge is in the crew and he has to judge his own crew, they should get a substitute judge. Because Absolutely. It's like, it's Bro, like that's really automatic bias. Right. Plus, like, it's just personal. It's like the talk home. It's like just weird avoiding against your crew. Yeah. It just, yeah. I, might have to watch that. Again. I might have to watch that battle again just to kind of like, you know, see why they maybe gave it to Babalu. Yeah, but, you know, no, we could, like I said, different angle. You know? To be real with you, after just watching it, you know, right away and just judging it on my own before I even seen the judges judging it. It's all good, man. You know, to each his own. All right, so this is a there's a there's something very funny happens here. I'm not going to give it away. I know, I know, we all know what happened. <laughs> anyway, so let's watch this battle. So this was the final battle. This is the final battle. Three on three at the freestyle session, Frisco edition, presented by 
let me give let me give a I'm gonna give Cross a shout out. Yo, this is the final we're revealing of the freestyle session. Sam, is this Rocks right? Presented by Jack in the Box. This is Rocks right. We're revealing Rocks right. Babel Yuri. Yuri Bebo and um, another dude from Mighty Zulu Kings. Oh, Rocks right is always clean. His style is so like. It's just clean. Like, you can't really beat General. it because he's so clean. General, baby. Very general, but he hits all his moves. Yeah, yeah. Rock's right hardly messes up ever. He's been breaking as long as we've been breaking, you know? And he's in the finals. This is the final battle. Who is this? Uh, somebody from Zulu Kings. I don't know, know what's okay. He killed it. I'm trying to, yeah. I'm just trying to right now keep a close eye on who's that doing Zulu Kings. When people crash, it's kind of hard to count those rounds, bro. Like, yeah. So. Yeah, at this level, you got to be – if you crash, you pretty much lost the round. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes these dudes can be really clean. Like, the, both of these rounds have already been clean. It's just mm -hmm. like, who's not crashing and who's got a, like, more stronger power and foundation mix. Yeah, this guy has no power. It looks like He's been he's been competing, dude. He's been in a lot of big battles with him. Yeah. I think he's uh renegades now. Is he? Nice. So, yeah, you can tell he's like he mixes it up. Yeah, he mixes it up. He's really dope. And like I from I know he's doing a lot of moves that we've seen before, but I think you know he's just coming into his own style, learning from what he learned. Mm -hmm. He's trying to incorporate his own style. And I'm like, oh, him versus Babel? This is going to be interesting. Oh, Babel. Is... Babel, man. He, that dude, he lives his life straight up just to break. Look at that. And, oh, uh, hey. Yeah. Babel was the one that happened against. That's crazy. Even, well, Ivan dropped the water. That was the first time ever, people, for you watching this with historical reference. That, that I seen that in You know what, though? Straight up. This is what's dope. When you b-boy, you have hypersensitive instincts. Like Babel automatically stopped his round because he felt the water. He stopped right away. He stopped. Like, Ivan pushed it over, or what happened? Yeah, Ivan's no, leg, just, his foot just kicked it over. Like this was the thing; his foot was under it. One second. Oh man! Which is okay. a historic moment because it's hilarious. I yeah, I mean the reflexes from Babel was incredible because someone. It is really right. He he could have. He was about he to go to a hair flip. Yeah. Like yeah. he could have broke his arm, slipping and catching it wrong. And you know, you know, there ain't no insurance for battling, right? Well, I'll see what happens. Let's see how good his round is. Back, we're back, we're back, folks. Okay, Bebo, you know, does a lot of power, that's for sure. But Bebo's all around. So. Ooh, and, gave, and you gave him his win back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah energy Bebo. too. Boston represent. Oh, he was always had good power. So yeah. Sure. I feel like Babel is cleaner in his power. Look at that. Yeah, that was a good yeah, round. Yeah, the dude from Mexico is dope, but I think Babel has this round. Yeah, plus he had a foundation at the end. You know, it wasn't like he just did mm -hmm. power. You know, mm -hmm. that was actually like he's got so more element in there. So and that's what I think too about the difference between the Olympics and like events. You know, this guy is run. He's he's dope. He's a new kid coming up, and he's got dope style. Yeah, he has a really dope style. People say they remind him of Thesis. Yeah, he's got that, like, coming in with a new flavor. Looks kind of like a dork. Yeah, he's dope. He's really dope. Nerdy? Like, he's really like, dope. Like, nerdy really dope. like a dork. Like a nerd? <laughs> yeah, I got that nerdy style, but just intricate, like, hard. And he has good power, too. Oh, yeah. And he's he dances. Like these guys. Not, shout out to Run. He's going to – he's killing it already. But a lot of kids that come out of, like, you wouldn't even think they break. They're, they're just yeah. like – they come out and they just do crazy. Like Nick Abbott. Remember Nick? Yeah. Super dope, quiet kid. This is Yuri from MCK. He's dope too. And they do so many street shows, so they got endurance. Uh, I've battled right? Yuri before. You did? Yep, sure did. Okay, well. <laughs> you should watch it, tell us. Tell me what you think. <laughs> where'd, you, where'd you battle him? At Little Rock's little thing that he had, his event that he threw, the last one he did right before the pandemic started. Okay. But, did he uh, call you or you called him out? 
no, no, no. We would it was a it was a competition. But Yuri, though, I'm telling you right here, he's killing it. He's all around too, but he does a lot of power. Well, he's been in a lot of battle. If if we be, if we were to review the battles the last like three weeks, Yuri was in all of them. Yeah, yeah he was there in competition. It was his birthday. Battle Yuri before. Yeah. Seen him battle Yuri. Oh, no. Um, yeah, Rock's right though. Yeah, you could tell he's definitely still got to. Rock's yeah, right. Just, uh, shout out to Rock's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, props to him for like holding it down for so long. And his oh, yeah. style, like you could do it forever because you know, like it's not really hard. What he does is not really difficult. Well, yeah, I would. I think he would beg to differ, but yeah, I get what you're saying. I mean, he, you know, he's very technical. He can flow into his moves versus he's not like on his arms aren't straight. He's flowing. Yeah. Oh, this guy looked like he crashed. This guy's got that b-boy in your face style. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell he's really into like that New York style of things. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You said it, Jedek. He has a New York style. He has that uh, classic, what is it? Uh, oh, it's, 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 it's original, uh, like, you know, foundation. You know yeah. Saying? The Bronx Boy. On the end to make it really like look, look like it's blown up. But yeah, he, he has that traditional style. Mm -hmm. straight up. Bronx, yeah. And he knows how to like end it. So I, I think, yeah, Devo and them are right now. They're, they're, they're my eyes. So, let's see, let's see. Yeah, and this is all opinion based, but it's good to get an opinion. So when people watch this, they can start understanding what these guys are doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that move right there. This dude, see right there, he does it different. Like my mine is the other arm when I do it. Right, he's whipping it in. He's like crunching his ab. Yeah, that guy is. He does it reverse. I've had people do. My, I call them windmill push-ups, right? Pushed up with one yeah. arm, but I do it with my right hand. Some people do it backwards with their left. Now, that's what he was doing. But that's cool, that was a, that was dope. I'm glad he you know that to flip stuff like that. Like it is. That's what it's about. Abel already won because he threw a head spins with his power. <laughs> well, Bevel, it's funny how head spins don't get as much props as before. It no, depends. it doesn't. If, 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 if Abel can, ooh, that was a good round. You know, Bebo, he's, on it, he's saying twice. So when people put the finger up like that, guys, they're still talking about he did it twice. Ooh. Yeah, these guys, you can tell they're they're really trying. Like this guy. Oh, yeah. Look at that whipping out power. Ooh, that was hard. Yeah, that was a flare of blue thunder. Right yeah, there. look at that. Pointed at him. Yeah, he's he's really bang, stepped up. Bang, bang. Oh, oh. oh. That was oh. That was probably his best round so far. Yeah. Styling on him? Yeah, he's my favorite dancer so far. He's dope. His name is Run? His name's Run, yeah. He's ha he's he's having a dope run. But like, he killed it at freestyle session, the last one. Yeah, he killed it. Um, killing it at this one. It's going to become a little freestyle session legend. Yuri, like, in your face. Yuri was calling him out the whole time. Yeah, he was. Boom. Shot him. Boom. Bam, bam, bam. Boom. Cut him. So you're already representing that Zulu. Yeah. In your face. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, Yuri, he's dope, man. He's, I give it up to Yuri. You know, oh, yeah. Yeah. He's a package. Look at that. Ooh, you also have the air flare. He's a, they practiced that whole BGSK squad. They got, like, they practiced yeah. hard and they just... Got good battle tactics. So he's yeah. going to the garage all the time now, or what? Yeah, I don't know, but they, yeah, I know they practice. Oh yeah, I've been there for a while. Even Rock's fights practicing with them, so it's you know, it's kind of like this that gym. It's a, if it was like a UFC gym, it'd be like that gym is dominating. You know? Yeah. Well, I'm about to have my garage already ready to go in the next month or so. That's it. You know, I'll come through when I can, Jetic. Oh yeah. We need, a, we need a Jetic. We need a Jetic studio. We need a Cyber Yoga studio. We need a Breakstreet mm -hmm. studio. And I'm a, like I live right across the street from where Boogaloo Shrimp grew up. Really? Literally, I have a picture with Boogaloo Shrimp on my Instagram, in front of his house, right across the street from where I'm living right now. Wow. It's a history. Oh, they got a routine. Uh oh. Like, does the basic routine even count? You know? Yeah, you have to blow it up, bro. Because me and Jedek had hella routines. When you're doing a food yeah, battle, smoke people. I know. I, well, you know, we're coming from a different angle because we, our group and our friends and our peers definitely inspired the world. Yeah. Do routines. 
Oh, it's coming good. from a kind of a, a different opinion than someone that's basic routine, right? Yeah. A lot of these people, b boys, think it's just all about the crowd and, you know, thinking it's all about power when really they're thinking about the foundation and, you know, the world breaking, which is to hit beats, to be clean, as well as just to have, you know, flavor, style, and character. Yeah, right. He's killing it, though. I give it up to Matt. These guys, you can tell they're putting their all into it. Oh. This is like the air flare generation. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Yeah, it's, a, it's what, you know, there's like two generations that after us that are like now it's like a, almost a third generation. You got these. Well, I'll be real with you, man. Like Ronnie Ruin, honestly, was like one of the first people I ever seen put air flare combos like together like that in a way. Oh, yeah. no one yeah, right. Honestly, I think Ruin was the one that put air flare combos on the map. Because all these he did. Yeah, yeah. The way he did it, oh. Ronnie was definitely the first. So yeah. Power tricks from, from a breaking like yeah, definitely. Uh, foundation you don't get enough props you know what i'm saying but i give it up to all these dudes doing air flare combos like look at what he's doing right now like mixing and babel it. at the time babel was doing it at the same time and no one knows how to mix it like, look at it he's still battling it is but yeah you know ronnie doesn't doesn't get enough props so most but most yeah. most it's unfortunate most b-boys unless you're still battling <laughs> Um, God bless you. Yeah, uh, snuff it, uh, Yeah, Dusty Rhodes. But yeah, no, that was a good battle, though. These guys, you know, you can tell they're really trying to compete hardcore nowadays, and they're hungry. Which is some of these dudes be crashing. <laughs> yeah, Lamont's just going crazy. That shit, oh, that shit just so hard. Good. Yo, you broke the sound barrier. <laughs> Everyone's like, ah. Uh, okay, he did a head flip. Yeah, that was move is ill. Oh, Ooh. that was ill. Look at that little head spin pop. That's a little he answered after a run, too. Yuri, Yuri definitely good at what he does. You can tell. Yeah. Just, he needs yeah. to not do too many air flare combos. Yeah, Yuri's it. hard, bro. He, he, he's a full package. Yeah, he's yeah, all he's around, good. for sure. He definitely and he's burning them. He's dissing them, doing hard moves. Yeah, it's like a Jetic. Jetic has power, footwork, foundation. Like, it's hard to beat a person that has... Full work and dope power and flavor. I try to be all around. Battle attitude. All around is a combination you can't beat, dude. Yeah. So the name of these crews, Friction, Yuri, and what do they call themselves? It's like, a, I, I, MZK Del Fuego. So two different crews, MZK, Mighty Zulu Kings, and Del Fuego, which okay. I believe is like a Boston crew. So it's uh, Bebo and that other guy are Del Fuego. Like that's like East Coast. I think okay. it's like Boston. Crew. And then so MZK is basically – own crew so that's that versus break matic which is rocks right um the guy run and then castrito so mck versus break matic all right uh you know what i'll just tell you straight up what i think you know what i think as far as that battle goes i think break matic came with it really hardcore they did their thing but mzk just in my opinion i think just brought it a little bit more than Breakmatic. They came a little bit more all around. We're blowing it up a little bit more. We're a little bit cleaner. But yeah, honestly, I think uh, MCK took that one over Breakmatic. Got it. All right. What do you think, Lamar? Uh, this is tough. I'm going to give it a tie because I feel like certain members did great and then a lot of uh, members answered back. So MCK had a dope, like, awesome all around. But uh, I feel like the other crew answered back as well. So. Um, I give it a tie. Okay, wow. First tie. Lamont, you're the first tie on mm -hmm. Break Street. So it lets people know there are ties because sometimes it's one style did just as good as the other. So it's pop ties are always possible. Mm -hmm. uh, I would I've seen it a few times. Actually, I've seen this battle maybe like four times already. And I was giving it to, like I know who won, but I was giving it to the other guys who won. But I could see now like the guys who won, um, I probably just gave it away, but the guys who won, like I can see how they won, the judges can give it to them. So it's very tricky, all these little intricate things, and like it raises the questions too: should there be replays? Because sometimes in the moment, the crowd does affect your decision because sure. maybe the guys weren't the guys who were winning didn't get a good crowd response because they weren't in the area that is their hometown. So that's yeah. you know True. these different factors. That's why these recaps are great. So great guy, that was the final battle we're gonna watch. But that's why these recaps are really good. 
um, to see who we think are the winner. And uh, that was our first one. So if you guys are listening in, follow us on Break Street. Uh, we're going to be doing this every Tuesday. West Coast Rockers, some of these guys, Lamont, and follow these guys on their channels too. We're going to be doing this. But we're going to be doing a recap every Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, actually, yeah. Uh, my YouTube channel, I'm going to be working on starting season five off with Dedication to Calypso Tumblers 2022 filming this Friday live. So catch me at Venice Beach. All right. All right. So let's watch who won the battle and then we'll do our outros and we're, we're it's a wrap. So Work. let's check it out. Who won, guys? Let's see. It was a good battle. And then the winner goes to freestyle session, like they're in the top 16. That was the prize plus the money. MZK. MZK. Well deserved. I had a feeling, man. Those are like Bebo. Barry killed it. Babel killed it. Yeah. Uh, but the guy from New York, I don't know. I wasn't really feeling his style so much. I feel like he was yeah. crashing a couple times. You already put it down. Bevel put it down. And the other cat, yeah, from NYC, definitely. They, they were just stronger as far as, like, being all around and just being clean. Yeah. Like, yeah. They were more on point with, you know, with their rounds. But it was a good battle. It was kind of close. But I think MZK just, they were they were just on point. Yeah. Yeah, so that was your thought. What are your thoughts, Lamont? Any, any other thoughts on it? Yeah, um, you know, MZK definitely deserved it, um, but I felt the other dudes were holding it down. I felt like one guy from the from the MZK was kind of crashing the guy from New York, but that's just my opinion. And I thought that... I thought MZK, you know... Yeah, so we're right. We could both give a tie, Lamont and me, and then so MZK, so yeah. Yeah. So but, hey, everyone has a decision. Dope. Oh, yeah. really dope. And I didn't even know the outcome until you told me right now. So. <laughs> so <they're- laughs> that was, oh, yeah. Do we see? Yeah, MZ, MZK won. Yeah. So, wow. So, that was great, guys. So, that was the first recap. How easy was that, dude? Amazing. Fun. Fun. Well, we could even add some hairs in there. The hairs are fun, too. <laughs> Adding the hairs in there. We're going to be doing much more stuff. Mm-hmm. All right. So, let's, let, let's, uh, we're going to wrap it up, guys. This is our last. Uh, this is our last piece. We're going to give us so everyone kind of give a shout out um, where they can find you, anything got going on to promote, and then we'll just yeah, I'll see you. straight up. I'll tell you guys straight up like this. Make sure you check out, of course, my Instagram. I'm going to be making sure to not really post up all the time, but I'm going to be making sure on my YouTube channel always is going to be going my Facebook page. So everything's so up. What's the at on the YouTube? It's at Vivo Energetic, yeah. Follow me. You can see all my, you know, my history, some from back in the day to now. But I'm gonna make sure to tune in though. My Jetic Reloaded web episodes, which is gonna be going from my YouTube channel under Vivo Energetic. Spell it with a J and a K though, not a C and a, you know, a G and so a C. Is it like that? Is it like that? Vivo Energetic. Yeah, on YouTube. Isn't that amazing? I could do that live. Yeah, that was amazing. Amazing. You do in 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 real time. Yeah, you can that be, uh, uppercase. <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah. Actually, you know, it makes a difference because if you do Break Street with the lowercase s, it goes to my, like, my old page. I don't even have a password for it. But yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Make sure yeah, you actually, look it up makes, with makes uppercase e when you when you when you spell energetic. B boy uppercase e for my YouTube channel, and it's always going to be posted up on my my Facebook. So I'm on season five right now. I'm about to shoot episode one, dedication to Clips of Tumblers this Friday. Nice. Right. So follow everyone. Follow energetic. I'm creating yeah. this banner right now. Look at that. Is that correct right there, Jetic? Oh, no, wrong one. Is this correct, Jetic? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's, That's it. it. Oh. All right, up next, we got Mr. Uh, Cyber Yoga. So everyone follow Cyber Yoga everywhere, right? Yeah, so shout-outs to Friction for putting this down for Break Street. Shout-outs to West Coast Rockers, the crew, California, the homies, uh, the crewmates, and... Yeah, uh, most importantly, thank you, Robert, you, you know, for doing this and, you know, uh, bringing all that vintage footage out. Props to you. And, of course, you can follow me on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, everything, at Cyber Yoga. That's my movement. Uh, self-explanatory. Just follow me on all channels at Cyber Yoga. Yeah. Cyber Yoga. Awesome. And that's it. Follow us, guys. I'm posting this on Instagram and stuff. So I got some last week, too, Friction, I want to say. Make sure to all the B-boys, B-girls, everybody in the underground hip-hop scene, keep it real. Never so Keep out. it real. You know I mean, yeah. never sell out for money, never sell out for anything crazy in this industry and world. 
Make sure you always try to be original. Don't try to fight other people's original moves. I see a lot of people out there doing my atomic roll and certain windmill tricks. Be original, y'all. Honestly, all you new school, brand new old school B-boys, stay original and do your best to just, you know, keep it real and stay positive and focus on better health because our health is our wealth and creating longevity, peace, love, and happiness and keeping our faith strong. Absolutely. That's it. Yeah, and I would I'll add with that, so follow Break Street. Let me add my little thing. Boom, follow Break Street on all mediums. I made it on everything. And there's some new one, a new one called Rumble and Getter, guys. You got to get on. Um, yeah. Anyways, follow Break Street, guys. This is my crew, West Coast Rockers. We got many more members we want to jump on, but we're going to do this every Tuesday. So that's awesome. And one of the things, if you listen to this in the future, why being original is so important is because it makes you keep going. So, some, you know, it's funny because a lot of guys, they, they'll feel like kind of butthurt when someone says you're a biter. And like, they, but you got to understand that if, well, if you're not original, if you just take, keep taking people's moves, you're eventually going to lose things to eat. I think um, that's a good metaphor, right? So being original gives you a consistent flow of just keep on going because you're always searching for more stuff, right? Yeah. Um, I say stay fresh to these guys. Anytime I put like a little something online, stay fresh is subliminal for being, you know, keep refreshing yourself and being new. That's a great way. And those are like, do we should have merch, bro? We should have merch because we got to remind people that because remember a lot of our ideas of we're just thinking them, the world doesn't know. So the recaps like this is letting our ideas out. So over time, like, you know, this is making us immortal, dude. Once I put this online, it's going to be online forever, you know? Oh, yeah. So, exactly. Making this year, right? 2022. Anyways, but that's it. So I'm going to pretend like we'll wrap the show. We'll stay on a little bit longer, guys, and talk about it. But that's it for the show. Peace yeah. out, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.